Hello, Power App Makers. This is Ahmad Saleh again. Today I have a very, very short video for you, and it's a very exciting video. Have you ever thought about the Virgin Notes of your published uh, versions or all the versions? Every time you save the Power App Canvas app, you have a new version. It has the modification date, modification a person or modified by who, and then you have the Power App release that you are using. In addition that you have this published column to tell you which version is live we have also something called virgin notes and to use the virgin notes it's something actually you can do every time you make any change in your app like for example we have this app right here and uh, anytime i make a change let's say that i have actually changed the background of this button right here and i want to actually save this version now with a note to do that you will come to this carrot right here and this is the new command bar in the power app canvas app studio you click on here and then you you click save with virgin notes here i will say button background color changed to orange something like this and then i will save and I will publish when I do that and I go back to my versions in the app details if I refresh now I will see that the published version which is version number three has this note right here and this is what I have entered there now what I want to show you today how you use Power Automate Flow to get this value from here. And you can use this value either to send it back to the Power App when the user actually log in first time to the app, they can see the most recent published version notes, or you can use this note to send the notes to another developer. You can use it to save it in a database table or any other scenarios that you might see that it's useful to use these version notes. And to do that, I have here this uh, Power Automate flow. And this is uh, the action I'm using here. It's basically, I'm gonna just copy this. This is the app ID, right? I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And I'm gonna just show you like from the beginning. So obviously this flow is going to be triggered from the Power Apps. And this is just for this case. You can actually trigger the flow any way that you want. And then I will use the connection that called power apps for makers this one here and i will use the action get app versions and in the power app name you will paste the power app id where do you get the power app id from the details of the app you have the power app id right here and i will save this and I will run a test. And the reason for that, because I need to see the output, I'm gonna use the output of this action, the get app version action. I would like to use this output, which is a JSON as a schema sample for the next action. Run, and the output here, I will select everything, copy, and then I will start edit again. The next step it will be parse JSON. The content of the parse JSON is going to be the value of the get app virgin action. The schema of the parse JSON action it will be generate from sample and I will use the code that I copied the JSON I copied from the git app version output action next step I will use for apply to each to loop through the array of values which is the different version or different versions that I received 
by this action here get app versions so i will apply to each and i will get the body of the json which is array and then while i'm looping through these array elements i would like to check for a condition for a certain property which is the is life so the is life property if it's true that means this is the published version so if it's true i would like to send back the value of the note of this version to do that i will go one step back here and i will add a variable this variable i will call it var published version note and it will be string in the apply to each i will go ahead and set the value for that variable in case that this app or this version of this app is life so i will use the action set variable and then I will use my variable name and the value will be which is a dynamic contact and it's in the parse JSON action it will be called commit message this variable or this value of this property it's actually the virgin note that we're looking for let's save and after the apply to each I will have the last step which is to respond back to the power app in this scenario with the value of that variable so I will call that respond back published version note and it will take my variable value I will save and I will go back to my app right here so what is this app is doing I would like when I click on this button I can get the most recent published version note to show on this label to do that I will add the flow it's right here the get published version notes and if it's not here you can always search in this search box right here and then once i added the power automate flow i will go ahead and i would like to use a global variable so set global variable and i will call it published version note and this will be a value that coming back from my flow dot run i will test it's running now i have the value coming back as a record and this to get the value of this record i will use the variable name and then on the text property of this label box i will use my variable name dot publish version node this is the respond from the power automate flow with the value of the notes and as you can see here button background color change to orange so this is the most recent one if you remember that's the last one right here i want to do one more thing I would like for this code here the global variable and running the power automate flow to be executed on the screen one on visible property so that will make it that we don't need this button now and now what i will do i would like to save this time with a virgin note as well and i will save it as getting the published 
app virgin note when the screen one is loading now I save and I publish after I publish I will go back leave the app and I will run the app now from here I will go ahead and click play the app is running can give it another refresh perfect it's running give it a second and here you go getting the published app virgin note when the screen one is loading now i have another user that i share this app with so i'm gonna go ahead we have done some edit on this app so i'm gonna go ahead and refresh here and i will play the app as this user here Now this user will be able to see the most recent published app version notes. Getting the published app version note when the screen one is loading. And as I said, you can have this value to be value to be sent in an email message or be saved in a database or wherever that you think suitable for your scenarios. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time.